Hello guys, so in this episode of Cooking Time, we're going to be making lumpia. Lumpia is a Filipino egg roll, also from my culture, so I'm back at it again with the Filipino foods. So, let's get started. Ingredients you will be needing are spring roll shells. I just got these at the Asian supermarket. So, I have two packs here just in case. We also have one carrot, one cabbage, two garlic cloves, a small onion. We have bean sprouts and some ground beef. This is fresh ground beef that we ground ourselves at the store. So we also be needing salt, pepper, garlic powder, soy sauce, sesame oil, and oyster sauce. So let's begin. So in a large bowl, we have our meat. So now we're gonna pour the soy sauce. You wanna put about three tablespoons. So I'm just gonna cover this meat. So it's gonna be about two to three tablespoons. Now let's close this up, and then we're gonna be adding the sesame oil. So the sesame oil was actually very fragrant, so now I'm just gonna be adding the oyster sauce, so this might be hard to get out because the oyster sauce is very thick. It has the consistency of molasses, I would say. So let's just get some of that out. That would be about one tablespoon or so. So that would be good. And then we're gonna get to start mixing. But first we need to add our seasoning. So first we're gonna be adding the salt. So we're gonna be adding about um, two to three teaspoons. And then that will be good. Or maybe one to two teaspoons. And then we're just gonna be adding one teaspoon of garlic powder right there and then we're going to be adding the pepper so that's also going to be that's also going to be about one teaspoon there and then this is going to be very delicious with all of these seasonings it's going to be rich in flavor so now let's get mixing so we're just going to use our hands make sure your hands are clean when you do this so dish mat take a while So I also forgot to mention this, but you'll also be needing an egg as our binding agent. And you'll also be needing another egg for when we roll our egg roll. So let's just throw that away. You're also going to be needing one whole carrot. So we're just going to grate this. We already have it peeled, so make sure you wash this first. So you will know when to stop grating when you get to the very middle of the carrot. And that will be when it starts to get very hard, almost like the core of the carrot. So let me show you. Okay, so I just got to the point where it started to become hard. So see, it's not really like wiggling, so wiggling. Okay, so now let's get to our next vegetable. So you just want to slice off a little bit of the cabbage and look at that chopping action, it's amazing. So now let's just dice it up. So you just want to chop off the ends and then you just want to dice it up and then you'll be done. So in a mortar and pestle, you just want to smash up 
your two garlic cloves. So that seems pretty weird, but it's a great way to release a lot of garlic flavor. So we're just going to do the each. So we just got these bean sprouts at the Asian supermarket. So this is what they look like. And then we're just gonna pour a couple in there. So as you can see, it's still in the back. So now I'm gonna show you how to roll the egg roll. As you can see, I am wearing a different shirt because we put the meat overnight in the fridge. So you wanna be careful when you peel off the uh, wrappers for the egg rolls because they can be very delicate. One slight movement and then they could tear. So we just have them on a plate of moist paper towels so they won't dry out. So you just wanna fold the corner, the bottom corner closest to you um, upwards. Then you wanna place your mixture right on top of the triangle that you have created. Then you wanna fold the right side, then the left side like this and then you just want to fold up so when you roll it up as you can see there's a bowl in front of us and it is filled with egg white so you want to dip your finger into that so yeah and that is what we're going to use to seal the egg roll so as you can see i'm just pulling back to make sure everything is locked in so i'm just going to dip it in and then we just want to put it on the very last triangle we see and then you just want to keep folding up and then you'll have your first egg roll right there. Isn't it a beauty? So to have the egg white as I have in front of me in a bowl, um, what you want to do is you want to crack your egg and you just want to like pull it back and forth. So like when you Crack it open, you just want to pull it back and forth over a bowl so the egg white will actually fall in the bowl and then the yolk will stay in the shell. So, that's a little help for you. So we just finished our two packets of the egg roll shells and now we have all of our egg rolls complete. So that was a lot of work. So in a pan, we've just been heating up some oil about halfway and we put it to about an eight for your heat level so now we're just going to pour about five in there and as you can see there is some bubbles forming around the egg roll so that tells you that it is a good temperature at for frying so let's just finish all of these So here we have the lumpia right in front of you with a side of sweet chili sauce. So with the extra lumpia you'll be having, you can just put that in the fridge covered with some saran wrap, maybe for some parties or some get togethers. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking Time and I will see you in the next one. Bye. And before the video ends, I just wanted to mention, thank you for over 1000 subscribers. So hopefully there will be a 1,000 subscribers special, hopefully this week or maybe next week. So stay tuned for that. So bye.